Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to reach out to me for help, then visit the description below this video. There's a number of ways you can get in contact with me to, to either book a free 15 to 20 minute meeting where we jump on Zoom. I can ask you a couple of questions, see where your business is at, where you wanna go, and I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale. Now, if you don't wanna do that, you wanna send me just a, a message or a text message, you can do that as well. Just visit the description below. Okay, all my information is there. I do this now on a full-time basis. So every single day, this is my job. I sit down here, work with coaches, I speak with coaches, and I connect with coaches in all sports, but also all around the world as well. Okay, so if you want more help, then those are the ways to get in contact with me. Now, today I want to talk about the fear of not being good in business. Okay, I get a lot of messages from coaches who are in multiple sports and a lot of them reach out to me and say, Leo, I'm thinking of starting a business or Leo, I currently have a business, but I'm, you know, I feel that it's failing because I can't get to that next level. I can't add new clients. I don't know how to market myself. I don't know how to sell. I don't know how to scale. Right now, I think I want to take you back to when, when I first started my business. And, you know, I, I always think to myself, right, I, when I first started, the first thing I needed to do was I needed to make a commitment, right? That was, that was essentially the first thing I did. I made a commitment to learning everything I could about this type of industry and this type of work, right? This, once you have a business, it's very different than you being an employee or simply just working for someone else, okay? When you have a business, you put on a lot of the different hats within the business, right? You are the coach, you are the salesperson, you are the marketer, you are the networker, you are the website designer, you are, you are everything, right? You are the public relations person, okay? You are a HR, you're, every, you're every, everything in your business, okay? Now, the fear of not being good in business, okay, is a fear obviously that everyone has because if, you have, if you've never done something like this and if you've never started a business, then it can become overwhelming, okay? And that is normal because, you know, when, when you start a business, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal, right? You're working with customers who are exchanging money for a service, right? And you've got to make sure that your service is up to, up to point so that those customers continue to pay you and you continue to make income to either do this full time or for it to grow to a point where you can do it full time, okay? So as you noticed, I say full time because that's essentially the coaches I, I want to work with and I do work with, right? Coaches that are in this type of industry that are doing sports training full time, right? They're working with clients on a full time basis. This is essentially what they focus on, okay? And they're, they're serious about growing and scaling. So most of these coaches that I work with, when they first started, most of them weren't good at business, right? They, they were fantastic coaches. They're great at the training, the coaching side. They knew about all of that. But the business side of this industry is a lot different, right? The business side has nothing really to do with the coaching side, right? It's all about the operations, okay? So the scheduling, the marketing, the sales, uh, closing, prospecting, okay, the recruitment of clients. That is the business and operation side. And that essentially is one of the areas where coaches aren't very good at, at because they think, and this is, a, this is a common conception amongst coaches, they think that because I'm a good trainer or I'm a great coach, I'm going to be a great business owner. Okay, and that doesn't work, right? It doesn't work like that. You, there's some coaches out there that are very mediocre coaches, but they're fantastic business owners. 
There's some coaches who are fantastic coaches, but they don't know how to run a business. They don't know the logistics. They don't know the marketing. They don't know the sales. They don't know how to create a system. Uh, they don't know how to charge clients. They don't know how to recruit new clients, right? So you have to have a bit of both, right? Now, most coaches, when they start, they have that coaching experience. They've probably been doing it for a very long time. They've worked with, with players and athletes from, you know, all levels. And they just feel that now is the right time for now to get, to get my own clients and develop clients in my own way, right? Which is what most business owners that, that we work with, that's, that's where they started and now where they want to get to. Okay, it's very common and it's probably uh, the best way to go because if you're a coach with no or very no, none or very little experience, then getting into this industry is going to be very overwhelming because you're not going to know what to do. Okay, so essentially what I what I always say is make sure you have at least five to ten years or even more of coaching experience before you decide to build a business okay because by that point you have probably worked with different companies you've had different roles within that company those companies you've worked with different players you've worked with players of all levels you've probably done the same training sessions over and over again so you're comfortable putting on sessions you'll probably have worked with other coaches in that time so you know how to mentor you know how to and manage people okay so when you have all that experience then I feel that you know what now it's the right time to do your own thing right now it's the right time to get there and start to now learn the business side of this industry which is and can be overwhelming at some at, at times okay but you have to make a commitment to learning you have to make a commitment to reaching out to people like myself, like Ben, or people that have a lot of experience doing this, working with people in this industry, and are doing it full time. Okay, so I remember when I when I started working with Ben, my my sole focus was coaches in in, in soccer, football. Okay, because I said to myself, right, I've got that type of background. I've coached. Um, I've coached in the sport, I've built a business in the sport. I feel that coaches in that sport will take me a little bit more seriously rather than baseball, basketball, uh, paddle, tennis, etc. But once I started to put content out there, okay, you know, I started having coaches reach out to me in basketball, in tennis, in, in American football, in, in other sports. And there was a little bit of a fear going into these calls because I'm like, right, I don't know if they're going to take me seriously because I, I'm, I'm not a coach in that sport. But you start to realize is that the business side of sports is very similar or the same for all sports. And, you know, our company, Make Money Coaching Sports, is a company based upon helping you with your business. Okay, the business side of your sport. So what I started to see is, right, the, the, the same problems that coaches in, in tennis are having is the same problems that coaches in soccer are having, right? Lack of clients. They don't know how to charge for their service. They don't know how to market. They don't know how to promote. They don't know how to structure a business. They don't know how to get paid. And then I started to see, right, okay, so tennis and soccer, they're having the same issue. And then I started to talk with coaches in basketball and it was exactly the same. Like the, the problems that they're trying to solve or the issues that they're having with their business was very similar to all, you know, all the sports were very similar. So for you, you have to make a commitment, right? Am I going to make this a success? Am I going to learn, right? And am I going to reach out to someone for help? Okay. A lot of coaches want to learn as they go along, which is great. But I feel that if you're going to avoid mistakes early, it's good to invest a little bit of money into yourself 
to learning the strategies and the techniques to avoid those mistakes. Okay, don't, and this is something a lot of coaches do, they follow people on Instagram and they, they implement as they follow people. Okay, so they'll see, right, there's this private trainer in basketball. He's got a, he looks like he's got a really successful business because he's putting up a lot of content. He's working with different players, right? I need to do the same. I need to put up a lot of content. I need to work with a lot of players. But then if you do the maths and if you actually do a behind the scenes, uh, to what that trainer is actually charging, how much they're making, how much time they're training, you know, it, the maths probably doesn't add up because it's like, right, yeah, they're working with a lot of players, but they're charging very little for their time, which essentially they're not making any any profit, but they've got a fantastic Instagram page, which which makes them think to everyone else, that they are a successful company, which really and truly they're not. Okay, and at this point, we Ben and myself, we've spoken to a lot of coaches, a lot of coaches who have a massive following on these social media platforms, but doing a deep dive in the business, they aren't making a lot of money, okay, or, or any money in some cases. So the fear of not being good in business is a fear that everyone has when you're looking to start one, but you have to make a commitment. Do I wanna be great at this? Do I wanna learn? And, and as I learn, do I want to implement, right? I can't just consume, I need to implement what I am learning, okay? So reach out to me. I say this on every single video and I will say it on every video coming up, right? Get in contact with me. Don't 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 think that you know I'm going to sell you something, right? The idea is not to sell you something. It's to introduce myself to you, to connect, to learn about your business, show you some steps or, or things that you can implement to grow and scale. Okay, and if you want to learn more about what we do, then you can also. Uh, visit the description below. We've got a lot of programs and, and, and ways of getting business help uh, that we offer. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.